So welcome guys, this is going to be a start of a new series of me going through and playing Scrap Mechanic. I'm going to take the little knowledge that I've built up already over my experience in the game and we'll go from there with it. So I suppose um, we've got to establish a base and everybody knows when you start this game off you want to be looking for the mechanic shop. But first of all I'm going to go over to the well known existing farm and we're going to grab us some, um, some produce because we're going to need some food and drink anyway. It's always better to have some in supplies before we go running out onto our missions everywhere to find our stuff. So those who don't know, the basics of farming is right here, right by the crash spaceship. And it literally tells you, look, you plant the soil, you throw your seeds into the soil, you pick up water from a water source, and then you throw it on your crops, and you can fertilize it, and then you wait a bit of time, and then eventually you'll have a, a nice product grown there for us. So we'll just do that, we'll get us sorted out while we're here. And just to get us something growing already. I'll move the soil over, you know, it makes a lot of sense to do so. A little bit of information as we go into it, this playthrough. I uh, don't know how far it will go for or how long it will go for. But we will not be using any mods or dev commands or anything like that. Everything that you see will all be fully achieved within the parameters of the game we're not going to be using any mods or anything like that it's just going to be survival as it comes the reason being is all that stuff kind of sees you changing game files at the minute and things like that and i don't really want to do that uh, i think it it's better to have a playthrough that's a bit more relatable for people who pick up the game and kind of get a little bit real understanding of how things work there's no point in me going out there building these big vast vehicles or bases or anything if I've kind of had to cheese my way in order to get the resources because then you guys won't be able to achieve a similar thought of thing so we'll just plant ourselves some tomatoes and some carrots in this old stuff and everybody knows a 3 by 3 is a lot better for us because we won't get a raid so that'll all grow up and we'll grab us some fertilizer while we're here and give it a quick spray and I'll not spray them all I'll only spray five of them and we'll put that back down there and we'll put that back down there now while that is growing as you notice there's various different pieces of pipe that we can get we will go and basically just smash the crates up the little boxes that are near our spaceship Ooh, we need to put the fire out we'll put the fire out in the spaceship and then we'll go and smash the boxes and why did I decide to do a playthrough and kind of my own little series I think that everybody plays this game differently and some people have different ideas based on what they see and people just attack a problem in all different directions. That and my initial save where I've shown you all of my other creations from, that was as the game was kind of just released for the survival for everybody and it was a little bit higgledy piggledy in the fact that there was a lot of glitches going wrong and i lost a lot of components through various different problems and glitches going on so yes there was a lot of time spent on that game but weirdly enough it's not as far forward as it potentially could be due to the issues that i approached with an early game but that's not going to stop us we're going to take what we know and we're going to push it forwards here in this one I do appreciate that it might be stuff that you've already seen and might not be all that entertaining or interesting but like i say everybody does things slightly different so hopefully it'll be worth something anyway but for the most part you know how we go put out the fire in the spaceship just so we can get to all the goodness I missed. Are you joking? There we go. So yes, the fire is raging above us, but it's all right. It's not inside. So uh, the boxes. We smash these bad boys up. Oh, a bear straight away. That's pretty cool. I want to establish a base pretty early on to give us something to look forward to. So as a result of this, I'm not going to be grabbing the battery for the spaceship. I don't want to be doing that. Because one thing that I learned is realistically the mechanic shop hasn't been a million miles away from the spawn. So we'll go have a look-see what we can find all the way over there and see what we can come up with. 
I do have an idea for a base location. I don't want to tell you guys where or what it is. But it is a very... It's a very nice place. And it is something that is on everybody's world. I can't say that I've seen anybody utilise it. So I will try and get myself into a position where I can. And hopefully I'll be able to show you guys. And we'll have a pretty good base by the end of everything. Hopefully. Yeah, here they come. Here we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Two in one hit. I'll take that. Oh, no. He's not dead. He's just been... There we go. Okay. So, let's get his... Refining this bad boy. We might as well start off with some material. Because we're going to need is some metal before we can craft anything anyway. So, every little helps. Uh, I also don't want to fire up the ship in terms of its power usage to enter the craft bot. Because, ultimately, all that's going to give me is... Some kind of rubbish wheels that at the minute we don't really have any way to recycle. So without having any way to recycle anything, I don't want to be producing stuff that will only kind of have a limited use. Um, if that makes any sense to anybody. So how we're looking. We're looking pretty good. We've got some tomatoes. Should we get dehydrated? So we're all well. The mechanic shop should be at the end or somewhere along this road. A little bit of a run, but nothing too bad. It's not actually as far away usually. As what we think. These maps are pretty big. They really are pretty big to be fair. But in all fairness. How far things are away from the original spaceship. Aren't usually that far. In fact. We can see it over there in the distance. Look, you can see it's little. Shiny shiny spanner. So that's good. There's a big old tall building there. Quite a lot of buildings over this side actually. What's this? Oh there's a town here. Nice. I never had a town this close before. That's worth knowing. A tiny little town that we can get a load of stuff from. And in fact, that's a chemical plant over there, I think, as well. That little kind of bit in the distance, really far in the distance. So that's going to be interesting. I seem to have a good little world here. We've, we might have done well. So I'll just get ourselves to the mechanic shop and see what we need before we can do anything. The sun is setting. It's going to get dark, so I, I want to get to that shop so I can get onto a bed. Yeah, it is a chemical plant. That's pretty awesome. I've got a lot of stuff really close to me here. We are really lucky with this world. I mean, look how close that water is as well. So that will make early setup at the mechanic shop pretty easy. Quite pleased with this. I am quite pleased with this. So I suppose the things that you really want to look for in early game is obviously somewhere to hunker down and how close resources are to where you want to build your base and your main resource of choice is usually water which for us is literally just over there that's awesome i'm so happy so we'll go and get our bed now if you don't know which you probably should do by now i'm guessing you've watched everybody else's these have got beds in here and you can use these to sleep in and it will set your spawn point however inside number three at the top we've usually got a guest oh sorry Number two at the top. Yeah. We've usually got a guest. And he's defending the battery. This is a spawn point for them currently. And once you've destroyed him once. He will keep spawning back in here anyway. So it's. Uh, yeah it's somewhere where he's going to keep turning up. But this this is what we need. A beautiful beautiful battery. Just harvest his leg. This is where we are going to set up shop. This is where our base will be. Master battery required. Here we go. Da, da, da. Awesome tricks for awesome kicks. Okay, so we would like a refining bot. Craft bot. Ooh. Cook bot I'm not a fan of. Doesn't really help anything at the minute. So, craft bot. Craft bot. We do need a lot of components. What can we come? What can we make out of our little bot here? Not really anything worth anything. Okay, so we're going to have to go rustle some feathers with the hay bot. Um, but luckily, because there seem to be quite a few uh, there's quite a few buildings around here, so we'll, we'll be able to get into them and see if we can't rustle up a few feathers and get some component kits and stuff from these bad boys. We're going to have to cut down some trees really around us just to kind of open up the area a bit so we can see a little bit more.
This is something that I'm feeling because I think they've slightly tweaked how often Haybots are going to be dropping component kits. I do feel that getting base level component kits is going to be interestingly difficult. Oh wow, this is a tall building. So basically I've just spent the night trying to get component kits, which I, I have got 10 now, but they were a bit of a struggle to find. They don't seem to be dropping as often as they used to do before a few of the updates. But I'm just going to go search this build. It's pretty close to our mechanic shop, actually. But I'll just give this a search through, and then we'll go back, and then we'll get our craft bot. And then we can begin setting ourselves up a little base. I don't want to be here. I don't want to be here. Oh, there we go. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I don't fall all the way down. Get some cheeky hits in while he's ragdolling. Yeah. If we can't get him to come down a little bit. Hello. Hello. No more haybots. You'll hear a couple of them run around. This uh, is quite a tall one, I suppose. It's really tall, actually. Mm -hmm, the case is clear. Good old, good old, good old banana. So, yeah, I want to try and get as many component parts as I can right now so that it means that we can kind of craft things a little bit sooner so that we can hopefully get off the ground a bit easier. So what I'm thinking is I can get my craft bot and refiner bot going. And obviously they're pretty important things for us. And then if we can get one of those resource cage things that you put all the, uh, the bits into so that they can just stack up against more glass. So that they can stack up against the refine bot so at least then I'll be able to collect a lot of resources in one go. I don't mind being a bit manual for now in terms of cutting things down or the drills and trees and stuff. But yeah, the most important thing is getting that craft bot and a refined bot. Once we've got them things, we slightly start to move in the right direction. Which is the most important thing. Hey, there's a few more component parts. That's awesome. That's cool. It's been a while since I've had two out of one crates in here. Ooh, loads of paint still, which I'm lucky with my paint. I seem to be in worlds where there's plenty of pigment flowers, so that's not too bad. We're doing good. There was never going to be anything there, was there? Ooh, there was one here, though. Oh, this is a pretty good view. I can see my house from here. So the spaceship is over in that direction, so we're probably behind that big rock, actually. Mechanic shop. Where was that? Uh, chemical plant was over there somewhere, wasn't it? We're surrounded by water pretty well in the mechanic shop there, actually. That's that's pretty handy. On two sides. Got a little pond here. That's an autumn biome, so we'll get our cotton from over there. There's our first packaging station, which means that set of mountains over there might be the trader. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I thought that was a long way down. Yeah, so our first packaging station is there, right in front of us. So the trader, probably behind all those mountains, those rocks there. That's pretty flat over there. There's nothing there. But we have plenty of water around us. That's going to be awesome. I'm thinking about the caged farmers. I don't think there's going to be anybody in that autumn biome. Might be wrong. So yeah, I'm going to use the mechanic shop as a temporary base. I've been in here. But it's not going to be where I, I am permanently. It is just the most convenient place right now while I get myself set up and ready. So we'll... Do some sort of base over there just to get us through, just to kind of build us up. Where did I get down? Where did I get up? You know what? I don't know, but it's fall. <coughs> yeah, that's alright. Still more bots in here, though. I don't know whereabouts. There he is! Ooh, you slippery customer. Okay, cool. Right, so we should have enough components now for, I'm going to be one short, so I'm either going to be able, yeah, I'll build the craft bot, because then obviously I can craft some things using my inventory, that's cool. 
And the refine bot, I need one more component. But the craft bot means that I can make actual metal as well. So that'll be able to be helpful to get the refinery cages. Oh, I'll also be able to do wheels, which is going to be awesome. We want some proper wheels. Oh, there's usually one kicking around on the outside of this, isn't there? Whoop. There it is. There it is. Hello. So then we'll set up the craft bot. Get him going. Yeah, so I need metal anyway in order to do anything else. So we'll get this bad boy set up. Put him over here, out the way. Hello, Mr. Craft Bot. Right, what do we need? We need wood and we need metal. Cool. I can run two of those and we should go get some wood. Beeswax. Beeswax. Or... Whatever it is, honeycomb. Hear them buzzing. How am I going to get to this? Oh, just by simply walking up there. Okay. That looked like it was going to be a little bit more of a, a trick than it actually was. And there's another big hole there. Fair enough. Well, he's angry. Want to fight? So this stuff's a little bit further away than I'd like it, but it's not a million miles, we don't mind. As long as there's some nearby. Yeah, there we go. How many is that we've got now? 16, okay, cool. Bada bing, bada boom. We need wood. Oh, and it does take six to build one. So I'm going to be too short anyway. About a motor. Okay. Yeah, no problem. So let's go get some wood. How's the inventory looking? The inventory's looking good. We can put the wheel down here. Put the wheel down here. Put this wheel down here as well. I don't know why I'm carrying that around with me. So we'll just get some wood with the old sledgehammer. Whack down a tree. Do it the old school way. Little tip. If you hit the stump, the stump will disappear. I promise. There we go. So if you have any tree stumps kicking around anywhere in your base that are kind of in your way, just get rid of them. You can do it with the, the saw or you can just do it with your sledgehammer. Just hit it away and it'll be gone. You'll have no stump in where you need it to be. Just get us some wood. Okay, cool. No, 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 no. Stop rolling. Thank you. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Right, a farm. Um, I'm gonna set my farm a little bit away from my shop, just simply because I just like it out the way a little bit. There's no more rhyme or reason to it than that. The closer it is to water, the less distance we have to go. Wow, we can put this right on the water edge here. But I can still, you know, it's still close enough to the mechanic station to be defended. But it's far enough away from the station that it won't get us attacked when anything happens to this place. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, cool. I'm gonna need more wheels as well. We need more wood. Three. Right. I can make a trike. A trike's good. A trike is good enough. We are gonna need a seat. Gonna need a driver's seat out of here. A hundred wood. Woo! What was this one? Trike seat is five cotton. Right, so... I'm going to have to investigate that biome. See if we can go into our autumn biome and see if we can't find us some cotton. I only need five. 
So we need a lot more gear. We need some more metal and we need some more whatever. So we just nipped over back to the spacecraft to pick up the soil and the uh, veggies that we had grown over here. And also to loot the first building. Um, I completely... I didn't forget that I hadn't done it, but on the way over to the mechanic shop, I just didn't do it. So I went back in the hope that there might be something useful there. There was definitely nothing worth anything. There's no real reason to turn around and go back for it, but it was all well and good. Now we do have the master battery. So there was nothing worth anything at that first building, which wasn't a waste of time coming to. It got me a, a bit of fruit and veg here and there. So we'll go back across to the mechanic station and, uh, and try and look at setting up a base. Get a few more goodies on the way. We do need to harvest a lot more wood and a lot more metal um, just to kind of get us the basic resources that we need. I was hoping to pick up some more component parts but we still haven't got any more component kits just yet we'll keep looking picked up a little bit more honey so we'll be able to build all four wheels but it's those component kits they seem to be quite difficult to come by now they used to be a lot easier uh, but at the minute not so much mm. but we'll just harvest everything so i'm just thinking once we get a soil set up at the beach We'll have a little 9 by 9 farm going on down there. It makes it nice and easy to work with and defend. Then if we can get another component piece or two. Probably build a refine bot. I need five for a refine bot and I've got four right now, don't I? Yeah. So if I could just get one more piece, that means I can throw my refine bot together. I don't really want to be building stuff that I'm not necessarily going to need a lot of. I don't I don't want to build the scrap engine. I don't want to build the basic driver's seat. I might have to, just to see me through. Just so I can just motor around a little bit and gather stuff. But for now, it's not something that I, I feel I want to do. But it actually might benefit me doing that. If I can get enough component kits without needing to craft those scrap things, then that would be awesome. But... They are a little bit tricky to come by, so I think we're going to eventually have to build them. If we can do that, then at least we'll be able to have some sort of little vehicle kicking around, getting us through. If I build my early vehicles out of wood so they're nice and light, or even, even out of cardboard, you know, build them out of cardboard so they're even lighter, then we'll have good fuel consumption, so we won't be using too much fuel just to move the vehicle around. Then we'll be able to get onto it quite well. Let's see, can we build these, or is it going to be too steep? All right, well, let me build it. That's cool. Lovely jubbly. And they can almost reach from here. That missed. I got it. It's the one at the back middle. Ah, it's not going to do it. It's going to hit everything. Yeah, never mind. We can get most of them. That's pretty good. So that will help us with our water and throw some carrots down. I could do with some tomatoes, actually. Everybody knows tomatoes are better for... Tomatoes are better for hydration. So if we're thirsty, if we're thirsty, we want to eat a tomato. If we're hungry, you want to eat a carrot. And beetroot's kind of a good middle ground for both. So let's see where we're at. Boom. Connection tool. I can now craft. Awesome, 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 awesome. Wheel. I still need wood. What an idiot. How many wheels have I got now? I've got two here. I've got one here. I've already picked up. Right, I haven't even crafted any of these. And I've got four of these horrible wheels. Which I'll just put over here for the time being. Now... See, a scrap engine doesn't need much of anything. just needs wood. Same as a seat. But then, what does a proper engine need? A proper engine needs these components. We want to save them. It also needs oil. That's not too bad. But a seat... A seat needs a component as well. So we probably will be building the basics just because it'll just give us enough to get around. We needed a hundred wood. A hundred wood? Okay.
But I think we're going to leave it there for now, guys. Off camera, I'm going to be doing a lot of resource gathering. That'll be very boring to watch. And that's literally all I'm going to be doing. Just gathering a lot of resources. But for the start, we have got to our mechanic shop. We have set up a very basic little farm. We're going to be gathering resources and we're going to be moving on from there. Thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time. This is Woody saying, uh, yeah, appreciate it. To see where this series goes, we'll see what happens. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. Bye.